How's it going everyone? Thanks for tuning in to this week's Tip of the Week. My name is Ryan King with King Landscape Design. This week we're bringing you tips on tried and true practices that I've used over the last eight years throughout my sales and design journey. Whoa, whoa, that's my job. I'm supposed to be doing the opening. Well, maybe if you showed up on time for once, you'd be able to take over. Nah. So me and Ryan worked together for six years at Baylor Brothers. Uh, he did the sales portion of it, did project management, it's an honor to be here with Ryan and super excited to go through the sales process and learn a little bit more about that and a little bit about your background and where you came from. Yeah, so I graduated from the University of Connecticut with my degree in landscape architecture in 2014. And then shortly after that, linked up with the Baylor Brothers in about 2016, where I was averaging about a little over five million a year in annual hardscape sales. That's phenomenal and we couldn't be more happy with you. When you're at Baylor Brothers and, and five million, that's amazing. It's gonna be great to go through the process of, of how Ryan did his sales, how he worked his magic, and uh, let's dive into it. All right, so now that we're back in the office, we have a call set up with Caleb, who's the homeowner in this situation. Before we give him a shout, we have his property pulled up here on Google Earth so we can get a general sense on what his existing conditions are. So let's go ahead and give Caleb a call. Caleb, how's it going today? It's going good. So now, uh, obviously, I'm the homeowner here in this conversation, and what do you generally like to get out of this conversation? Yep, so, so now that we got Caleb on the phone, we're gonna touch on three main goals that we really wanna make sure we accomplish during every call. The first and most important is gonna be our client's goals. So we wanna write down everything that the client says in terms of what they're trying to accomplish in their backyard. While the client's elaborating on these goals, at the same time, we're gonna be writing down rough ballpark pricing next to each one of these goals so that we can give them a sense on what this project might cost, which is really important to make sure we're on the same page in terms of budget. Once we cover those budgetary numbers, then we wanna discuss scheduling time frame to make sure what our current construction calendar is lines up with when they want this project completed by. All right, now it's been about a week. We're standing here in Caleb's backyard. First thing we wanna accomplish is just to summarize those goals that we talked about on the phone to make sure nothing's changed and make sure we're both still on the same page in terms of the goals we're trying to accomplish. As we walk through the backyard, Caleb's gonna to start to lay out kind of where he's thinking he wants his features, where he wants his patio, where he wants that grill island that he was talking about, and the best way he wants to utilize that space. Once we get done talking about the locations of each of these features, we're gonna let Caleb or the homeowner know that we just need about 20 to 30 minutes to lay out this backyard on our iPad, all to scale, so that we can start getting our square footages, linear footages, that we're then gonna put into our estimating software so that we can get a, a pretty good accurate price point for Caleb that's gonna be a little bit more accurate than those ballpark numbers we gave him over the phone. Once that's done, we're gonna knock on his door, have Caleb back outside, and we're just gonna review that detailed sketch that we put together for him, and we're gonna review that full price list so that now we can start discussing scheduling options. And at that point, then you would want a deposit from me of some sort to go further. Correct. Once the pricing's all taken care of, once we reviewed the design, make sure it's what Caleb had in mind, we're gonna give him two options essentially. We're gonna give Caleb the option to get scheduled on our production calendar, which that'll be a range fee depending on how big of a project it is. It could be 5,000, could be 10,000. If it's a small project, it might be 2,000. But this is what's gonna give the client a commitment to us so that they can get their spot locked on our production calendar. But most importantly, this is what allows us to start the design phase of their project with 3D drawings and construction documents. Looking forward to it. All right, so now that we're back here in the office, we have the client's scheduling deposit, so they're locked into our production calendar. And now what we're gonna do is start our design phase, where we're gonna start giving the homeowner a 3D model of exactly what we talked about while we're staying there in their backyard. And then as we have that 3D model together, we're gonna then elaborate on the full outdoor living experience to provide homeowner value in their backyard, so they have the best possible design for entertaining their friends and family. As we work through that design process, once that's finalized, we're gonna then put together a final contract, which is then when we're gonna ask for the one-third deposit, which now allows us to order their materials for construction. Now that the design is complete and the contract is finalized, what we wanna make sure is that the construction documents are complete for our crews to install this project. At the same time, materials will soon be delivered to the homeowner's house, which is when we're gonna ask for the second, third deposit to allow construction to begin. Between the design phase and the construction phase, might be several weeks, it might be several months, depending on what your team is booking out for. So it's really important just to touch base with that homeowner periodically, just to fill them in on what's happening with their project and what the next steps are. 
Now that construction is underway, it's always a good idea to check in with that homeowner every so many days just to make sure they're completely happy with how everything's coming out and see if there's any changes that need to be made. As the project comes towards completion, you want to just fill the homeowner in that you're soon be requesting the remaining one-third balance of their contract total. But it's also really nice at the end of a project just to bring a little thank you gift, such as maybe a s'more basket for that homeowner to sit around that new fire pit with their friends and family roasting some marshmallows. Thanks fellow contractors for watching this week's tip of the week. It was a pleasure having Ryan here to kind of go over that sales, sales design process. We really appreciate you coming out. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for having me. This has been an awesome experience. If, if anyone wants to chat more, feel free to reach out to me on, on social media, Instagram or Facebook, at King Landscape Design. Be more than happy to chat with you guys and obviously be more than happy to come back out here as well. And if you want to comment below in this video, things that you would like to see, maybe break this apart just a little bit more, learn a little bit more about the sales process, let us know in those comments. Thanks again for watching. You can check out our Instagram, Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check us out at favetool.com. Thanks again.